Next, we're going to talk about the capacity planning in the production order. So the topics we're going to cover today, they are usage list for work centers and capacity planning in the production orders. So with, let us start with a business example. As a production manager or production scheduler, you are responsible for the continual utilization of the work center in your area. In this process, the order should always be assigned to the each work center in an appropriate sequence. So first we'll talk about the usage list for the work center. So basically this will be used for example if I'm working in a company as a production planner or I'm a production manager and I want to see that uh, what work centers are consumed on what uh, production orders. So I want a list of, for example, I got XYZ work center. I want to see that what production orders are scheduled on this, uh, on this uh, work center. So for this, we have a, a transaction uh, COIS, which is very, very, very commonly used in the real time um, uh, environment by the end users. So this is a production order information report, COIS. So if I go to, you can directly type COIS or you can go to logistics, production order uh, information system and COIS. Open order information system. By default, we'll show you the order header and there are too many views you can see. But to see, for example, if you just want to leave order header, and if you scroll down, you can filter it by a different way. For now, I will be filtering for the work center. For example, I want to see that for this work center, this plant, uh, I want to see all the production orders. So if I execute that, it will give me the result. So you can see this is a uh, screen now. So it first is showing you the order number, material, and order type, MRP controller, quantity, and all that. But changing it to the if you select here operations then if you execute that same result but in a different order so here you can see by first order number then operations and the work center and the quantity and everything and at the bottom and the end you can also see the status you can also filter it by status for example i want to see that only the orders that are created and released for example or you can say only the release work order so you can say release you can exclude a status as well if you want to exclude this status and want to see every all other status then you can just click on exclude so this will be excluded and everything else will be included but if you uncheck this box only the release status will be shown so if you execute that so now it is showing you only the release orders it will not show you the others orders like uh, the created ones only the released one will be showing up here so this way you can run the report for the work center so as a production manager i can see okay for this work center we got these stuff scheduled so you can see these are scheduled and you can directly jump to the production order as well if you select a uh, order number click on the display button it will directly take you to the production order as well so that is a report for the production order. You can also download the report, any report to the Excel. So somewhere here we have an option. Yeah, you, if you click on this button, then you can click on spreadsheet and select um, last one select that now you can continue and you can download the report any report not this one any report to the excel file and then you can save the excel file on your pc it's taking a while because i think i'm doing it first time on this system so I think you do first time it will take a while so it will ask you to save it you can save it on a desktop wherever you want so I'll cancel that 
okay next we're going to talk about the capacity planning in the production order now this topic for now i'm explaining as an overview only but this topic will come in more detail with some customizing as well later on in the next in the later video so for now i'm just going to show you how the end users will be using the capacity planning but later on we'll talk about the customizing as well and other stuff in the in more details so capacity planning is the one of the very very important and most commonly used transaction used by the end users in the company especially the production scheduler produ production planners you can say or the production managers they use this trans transaction to uh, plan the work center and the capacity so for example let me show you then it will show you a better view so you can go to this go by this menu path or you can directly jump to cm25 so if i go to cm25 stop it not sure why it's freezing let me log in again Now it's working. So if I go to CM25 transaction and here you can see different profiles. We'll talk about the profile in the other video later on. But for now, select the first one. Select the first one and say OK. And here enter your work center and the plant and then execute. Now in the screen, there are three different views the first view will show you so you can see okay let me try this so here you you have three views so first view is this one this top one top side the one that i'm highlighting on the screen second view is this one and the third view is this one so we have three views in total so in three views the first view you can see your work center and the capacity category in the work center the name of the work center description everything and it will show you that it's at, at the moment it's showing you by default as a calendar week so it's to, today is a say march 2016 so it's showing you calendar week of calendar week of this year 11th week 12th week 13th week 14th week and we can change this view let me show you this view change so so if you want to uh, I'll, I'll change the view in a minute but in the middle one you can see what are the work orders or the production order or the work orders are scheduled so here you can see three orders are scheduled in the real time system they can be many but here we have only three here that are scheduled fourth one is here which is not scheduled yet so three are scheduled here where my cursor you can see and these are you can see here the same thing that you see on the top that you can see here as well so they are on the calendar week 11 and one is scheduled on this date other one is scheduled on this next day other one is scheduled on next day but here the view is not very very clear we can change the calendar view to days view we can change the calendar view to um, hourly view as well so if you you can go to setting go to scale if you want to see the daily view you can click on daily period and now showing the daily view as for the dates so here it is showing you 